hey y'all welcome back to another video of mine we are doing another reaction yes to, um hoya versus other game it's three third some um what <laughs> another hoya versus um game i'd be playing in live streams i had to attend and watch so yeah ha um kai kai is due for their special program as you can see we're going to be going into 2.5, which will be a continuation of 2.4s, which obviously the current patch that's going on at this moment. Well, as y'all watching this video, well, if you're watching it in the future, it's probably already 2.5 or another patch. But as of today, August 30th, about to be 31st, we're still in 2.4. And they did it. They split the um main um story quest that was with. 2.4 and he split it into 2.5 as well so we're gonna be getting part two and 2.5 whatever the uh, continuation of the story so yeah since we're on um, back to um the law foo so yeah so we're gonna be seeing what's be going on in the uh, special program the two new characters which one character that is coming i really want her and we're obviously gonna be seeing if she's gonna be in phase two or phase one so i cannot wait to see and excited and see i also do what other new stuff and a little information they're gonna be sharing about the story as well so yeah and as y'all can see, it's um, 52 minutes, so we're going to be seeing how long this video is going to be of me reacting. Because y'all know me, I always got to pause. Y'all know me, react, um, my commentary, my two cents, my um, a dollar something, talking extra about certain things. So yeah, y'all already know. So um, if y'all are um, um, watching this, while I was watching the video, um, get, get your snacks, all that. <laughs> And enjoy me reacting to the uh, 2.5 special program for Harkai Saro. And again, if you uh, want to watch me do these lives, you already uh, do these uh, rea reactions live or my polling sessions live. You already know all my uh, my streaming stuff is in the uh, description below and my schedule and all that. So if you want to see me do these lives, see ya. So let's get into it. And again, imagine if I would have y'all sit through these four minutes uh, of the program starting. <laughs> Funny. If I was live, if I was watching the program live, yes, because I couldn't control the skip button. But since it's not live anymore, we can skip this portion very easily. And whether or not your world has a day-night cycle, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Oh, Mark is in charge of this one. March 7th. Before we ever went to the Sienjo, we'd heard about the war dance ceremony. And now look, I am currently on the Sienjo Lofu, where the ceremony will be held, bringing you the first on-site report. Hey, March 7th. Because we're Albert. trying to go outside doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Stay out can remember? Uh, don't worry, Albert. I recently started training under my new masters. And those moves you just saw were legit. <laughs> and look at my outfit. Isn't it just so cute? So pretty. See, this is how an amateur host behaves. What kind of host starts showing off their outfit before they've even finished introduction? How do you know the audience doesn't want to see this? Hey, chat, let us know how you feel about my outfit. We give it five, um, 10 out of 10. We love her new outfit. We recommend. We do. And also, too, I forgot what um, version March hosted before. She hosted, she hosted, she hosted another uh, special, pro, um, special program before. I forgot which one it was, but she did one. One of the versions. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <clears throat> As a host with many years of experience, let me remind our amateur host who's only done this twice, it's time to start the program! Oh, uh, oh right! Uh, up next, explore the Sienjo with March 7th! We're not at the park yet! Huh? Oh, <laughs> all for just $19.99, this special discount is only available from the Interstellar Shopping Network! What the heck have you been watching on the Sienjo? <laughs> Forget it! It's time for the expert to take over! What's the matter? Play the trailer! Let's see what the um, 2.5 trailer is about. Even though we already know what it's about. Welcome, everyone, to the War Dances Knockout Stage brought to you live. Both fighters are ready. The final showdown begins now. Mm, spicy, stimulating, 
Something ominous has arrived. There she is, y'all. There she is. That's the girl. That's my girl that I want. Oh, yes. Welcome, Miss Lingshaw. I am Preceptor Tauron. She is so pretty. The disciples of Saint Oh, I love her. She just fights so elegantly, as y'all can see. She, mm. yeah, she's coming. She's coming home. She's coming home. Indeed, I helped plot the prison break in the Shacklin prison. Seychelles, the boys of Stark and Haven are crawling with wolf-like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back. I will be there immediately. I venture forth to hunt. I'll see the general's duty through to my last breath. Oh yeah, Miss Ma'am, I'll put you coming. Are you ready for your death, abomination? <laughs> your water and Ireland's claw, you have betrayed the alliance. May both monsters have a point for war and die for war. Pray that the arrows of the hunt will pierce the heart of every monster. Oh, well, that was an epic cut. Cut. I was a cutscene trail. That was. A, we will. They will. Well, we will. We will be seeing a cutscene, obviously of that. But that was an epic um trailer. Boy, we seen a little somebody. She snuck her way. Let me see. Can I pause it any time? Wait. Miss Ma'am, right here. The. <laughs> Miss Jean Yu Wu. I wonder where she came from. There she is. I got. I, I froze it right. But yeah, she. Oh, she gonna be making an appearance in um part two. Okay. Oh, cause the last time we seen her, I was. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, was it the last time we seen her? Was when she had her banner for the first time? I know she had like a rerun not too long ago, if I'm correct. But yeah. I wonder what um what significance she's gonna be having in part two of the um of the story from part one. Of the hunt will pierce the heart of every monster. And there's the first code, which I don't know that's if, if it works or not anymore. <laughs> Obviously, if you're watching this video in the future, <laughs> it doesn't. Welcome back to the version 2.5 Flying Aurea Shot to Lupine Rue Special Program. Woo, woo, I'm sure woo, you woo, all woo. are brimming with anticipation after seeing that trailer. Yep. With that in mind, let's head it back over to our correspondent on the CN show and see what's been happening there. Hello, March 7th. March 7th, Hello, we're in the CN show. Uh, March 7th, yeah, we're in the scene jar. Is there a delay? <laughs> uh, Could you briefly yeah, describe to I... us? Oh. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Seems like there's a little delay, huh? How yeah. about this March 7th? Then I'll Why just didn't get you just started. Say... <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. <sighs> this must how the um, recording the news must be. <laughs> that little delay that always be happening. <laughs> I am at the venue where the war dance will take place. The sky split.
Jupiter. Let me tell you a secret. It seems like something big will happen on this Tian Zhou in this very spot. One of the. Oh. <laughs> March seventh? No, 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 no! Don't disconnect at the most important part, director. I felt that. I feel that with my soul. I felt the that connection going down. I'm like, yeah. Mm hmm. For people who be um streaming and all that, y'all know that feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, that connection be a little wa wavering a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. The pain. The pain. Turn it off now. We're having a little hiccup in our Technical outdoor broadcast. So uh, let me introduce the very special guest for today's program. The new cauldron master of the Sienjo Law Fools Alchemy Commission, Lingsha. Lingsha. I am Lingsha. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. So, I love her chibi. Merlin's Glove, the Sienjo Yao Jing. Fei Shao. Hi, everyone. General Fei Shao is busy dealing with some very important things, so oh, she asked the Wolf Fu to have someone fill in for her. <laughs> Boom. And finally, the shadow guard of the Xianzhou Yao Qing, Mo Moza! Here. Let's once again welcome everyone with a warm round of applause. <coughs> March 7th. She's so low. Are, 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 we, are we back? Looks like March might have a problem. Is it serious? <laughs> Looks like the issue hasn't been fixed yet. My deepest apologies to your guests. Mr. Albert, there's no need to apologize. These things happen. We yeah. all understand. Please do not stress so much. It's not good for your health. <laughs> Miss Lingsha is so right. <laughs> then uh, let's just focus on our studio for now. At the end of the last version, some not so great things happened on the Law Fool. Mr. Albert, are you saying? They've invited so many people to this war dance. It's a huge deal. How yeah, they brought um people from the the Bellabog. I was like, oh, we seen. Uh, I think Luke. What's his name was in the um trailer? Luca. Luca. Is it Luca? Louis. Luca. Luca. I think it was Luca. Yeah, the one with the um the fist, the uh, his arm, his other arm, his um robot arm. I was like, yeah. I was like, he's here too for the thing. But yeah. So yeah, y'all can see we get part two of the continuation of the main quest that happened in the in two point four. So yeah, we'll be wrapping it up in this version, seeing what could be going down. Will we be getting the wolf who got out? Well, I forgot what they're actually called, but they got out. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> if you haven't played <laughs> the recent main the um trailblazer mission uh 2.4 yeah yeah they got out <laughs> how could something like a prison break in the cycling prison happen now yeah the mr prison. albert let's suppose you wanted permission to exceed this program's budget would you follow all the right procedures to get your request approved or would you mix it in with a bunch of other applications the day before a public holiday uh, how did you know i uh... i just mean the war dance, with the chaos of all the visitors from abroad, provides a similar opportunity for someone to take advantage of. Suppose, also, a little rabbit snuck into this studio. Would Mr. Albert let it hide and chew on the wires? Or would he put a few carrots on the table to try and catch it? Rabbits don't chew on wires. I think Miss Lingshaw is just using an analogy. I get yeah. it. Set a bait. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by wash away the dregs? Let me see what speech the general left for me. It says we need to take this opportunity to give the Law Fu a good cleanup? Is there some place on the Law Fu that's dirty? Please be assured. The Cloud Knights have already arrived at the Shackling Prison to begin rescue efforts. General Fei Xiao will personally lead her troops in capturing the escaped Boris and criminals and ensure the safety of the surface of the Law Fu. General Jing Yuan will go to the Shackling Prison and investigate how this incident played out, while General Huayan will assist with overseeing the affairs at the Law Fu's six commissions. Whew. Hearing the generals are involved makes me feel better already. <laughs> but what about Mr. Zhao Cho? He's still with the Boris in. Oh, yeah, General Fei Xiao says she knows Zhao Cho has his own reasons for doing this, whether it's depend on the enemy or gather intelligence. 
I hope Zhao Cho takes care of himself. I'll find him. I promise. Frozen Queen! Part 7! Now is that the time! If I may be so bold to ask, there's one thing I don't understand. If Hu Lei is the Foxian's greatest enemy, why hasn't the Yao Qing gotten rid of him in these past 700 years? Literally. But instead just sent people to visit him? Uh, apparently, it has something to do with never dying in eternal punishment or something? My notes suggest asking General Jing Yuan later. <laughs> He's better at explaining these things. It looks like Miss Lingxia's questions will be cleared up in the Trailblaze Continuance Finest Duel Under the Pristine Blue 2! Yeah, we'll get all our answers to, like, why they just didn't kill him off in the, um... In the first place, but they gonna explain it, hopefully. And not just leaving us with more questions and just scratching our heads, just like, okay. The only thing left is the task of defeating Hule. I, I, I. Hey, March, are you volunteering again? <sighs> Seems like it's not lagging anymore on my end. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, it's fixed. <laughs> I can hear you. <sighs> awesome. Uh, where are we in the program now? Where you defeat Hule. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough jokes for now. The audience is getting impatient. The most with the jokes. Let's start the next segment. <laughs> oh, we're showing off our first character. The general herself, Miss Badass. As we all know, General Fei Xiao never loses in battle and is known as the vanquishing general in the Alliance. Today, we're lucky to get a look at the general's heroism in battle. The general said, Great victories are won by the whole army. It would be quite narcissistic and inappropriate of me to take all the credit. <laughs> Lacking general, lacking in worries, regrets, and She looks cool. Mm -hmm. We can also add, Lacking in care for others' opinions of her, lacking in respect for her doctor's advice, and lacking in peers when she's had too much to drink. That's what Zhao Cho said, and I agree. <gasps> Is that really true? Everyone has their own way of doing things. I find this kind of general very interesting. But still, you should really listen to your doctor. Uh-huh. Gotta follow the doctor's orders. The storyteller always talks about how General Fei Xiao leads the charge in battles. I just never thought she'd be so... What's the word again? Careless? Carefree. I heard the Verdant Reckless. Knights of the Yao Qing <laughs> are an elite force composed mostly of Foxians. They're the arrowheads in the hunt for abominations. And their fighting style is exactly like General Fei Xiao's. <laughs> I leave the strategizing to people like Jing Yuan and Yao Guang. My duty is to be the arrow that helps pierce the hearts of the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've recently been learning some Sienjo martial arts. Did General Fei Xiao leave any training secrets that you could share with me? Uh, the general didn't mention anything. But according to Su Shang, on the Yao Qing, they probably do 60 sets of strength exercises and then run 20 miles for cardio. Oh my god. Aw, I think I underestimated the Yao Qing. Yeah, they own they own some they own something. <laughs> they own something else on that shit. I'm like, oh, okay. Damn. General used to train me this way. It's not bad. It's I'm not him giving a thumbs up. It's like it's amazing. <laughs> Saying like, life lies in movement? Running makes you happy, so everyone should give it a try. Not everybody. <laughs> Some people will beg to differ about the run that makes them happy. Only with the most extreme self-discipline can you become stronger than everyone else. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the general's heroism in battle. General Fei Xiao follows the path of the hunt and excels in all kinds of battles. 
Her basic attack and skill deal wind damage to the enemy using gun blades and a battle axe, respectively. The oh, general also works closely with her allies. After her teammates attack the enemy, Face Shao will launch a follow up attack and increase the damage dealt to the enemy. General Face Shao accumulates Flying Aureus after every certain number of attacks. That's right. After she uses her skill, Fei Xiao will immediately trigger her talent's follow-up attack one time, when she uses her ultimate. Okay, so yeah, so she also the follow-up character. Okay, mm -hmm. we've been a lot, um, a lot of those follow-up characters, which I ain't complain about. They've been really, really good. <laughs> Fei Xiao consumes six points of Flying Aureus and carries out a series of attacks on the enemy with her gun blades or battle axe. Then. She strikes the enemy with a final blow. Flying Aureus can accumulate up to 12 points. Different combat strategies are needed to deal with enemies in different states. For example, the gun blades deal more damage to weakness broken enemies. But if the enemy is not weakness broken, the battle axe deals more damage. The Merlin's claw swoop down, striking the enemy with a force that could shatter the sky. Flying Aureus is the spiritus bestowed upon the general by the rainbow. It's the source of her power and her duty. The general's technique is also very unique. Using it during exploration increases her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain radius. <laughs> that is hilarious. So she basically, with the speed, with, um, what's her name? Madame Yukon? Madame Yukon? Yeah, I think that's her name. If the general attacks while in her technique state, the enemies pulled in will enter combat and she will deal damage to all of them. The general will also gain flying Aureus points and the more enemies pulled in, the higher her damage. The Azure Dragon draws forward and the flying Aureus lies in wait. The grace of General Fei Xiao is truly admirable. But yeah, she looks really cool. Really, really cool. I'm gonna say more once we get to the uh the banner portion about her. But no, I'm like she look uh her alt is very nice, it's very epic. Love her um the symbol on her back when she ults. I'm like yes, they was killed with the old animations. Let's just say she doesn't care what others think of her when she gets worked up. Oh, we also have another little announcement. Oh my god. In version 2.5, General Fei Xiao will also introduce a brand new trial for the Trailblazers called Echo of War Inner Beast Battlefield. A new trial. Oh, wow. What is this? <sighs> Looks like our tradition of fighting friends wherever we go continues. Yeah, I Marge. smell the scent of blood. This flying Aureus state seems unusual. Yes, the opponent in this trial is a shadow of the general and an apparition of flying Aureus, ecliptic inner beast. As the saying goes, if you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. <laughs> Before you take on the general's trial, I prepared an exclusive battlefield report for you. Ecliptic Inner Beast and Shadow of Faisal have three phases. Ecliptic Inner Beast will join the battle starting from the second phase. Different parts of the beast can separately apply different debuffs to our team. In battle, Shadow of Fei Shao resonates with Ecliptic Inner Beast's parts. Resonate will cause the Inner Beast part's next action to be enhanced and greatly increase the threat they pose to the team. Oh, Shadow lovely. of Fei Shao's ability deals massive damage to all targets. When using this ability, every part that is yet to be broken will increase the damage dealt by the ability, and the ability will enhance the parts that are not weakness broken. 
It seems like the best strategy is to weakness break the inner beast parts in resonant states. As yeah, yeah, so we got a weakness break. Okay. Oh, yeah, also, too, weakness break on enemies has been really heavily. They've been pushing as well, breaking enemies. Well, break effect, I mean, in general. With the previous characters that they released in previous patches, I'm like, they really have been focusing on break effect, which I'm like, amen about. Which, um, mixing up and all. Quickly as possible. Then, Shadow of Fei Shao is much less dangerous. Attacking the weakness broken inner beast parts will deal even more damage to Shadow of Fei Shao. After completing the trial, you will be able to obtain Auspice Slipper, Ling Sha and Moza's advanced trace materials. Friendly reminder, the advanced trace materials used by General Fei Shao is Regret of Infinite Okuma. Next, I'd like to introduce the new Cauldron Master, who has returned to the Law Fu from the Zooming. Miss Ling Sha. Ling Sha, I can't wait. Let me see her. Let me see her. I'm excited for her. She's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, her nails. Her all. Wait, we gotta see the all again. Play it back. Play it back. So pretty. And she just blow. I'm upset. Stop it. <laughs> Miss so pretty. Oh my goodness. When I seen her drip market, I was like, it, I was when they um obviously drip marketed way back before the drip market. I was like, oh okay, she looks pretty, and all that. I was like, okay. But when I saw her in the um Trailblazer mission in, in two point two point four, I was like, oh wow. I was I basically I was saying her um her trip marketing wasn't just doing her justice for me but when I seen her in game I was like okay I, I see she is so like love her so yeah she's fire um she's fire fire and abundance so yeah another abundance character add to the roster Slingsha is as light and graceful as a wisp of smoke and she has a very pleasant scent. <laughs> you flatter me, Miss Gwei. I am a healer, and I've always carried medicinal incense with me. I use fragrances to help me practice medicine, and some of it always ends up sticking to me. We had a healer on the show last time, but all we could smell was hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jiao Cho focuses on nutrition and food as medicinal therapy. I use incense to diagnose patients, and am very sensitive to smell. After all, Every person has their own unique scent. What? Did I hear right? You use smell to diagnose illnesses? Oh, a wow. smell can convey a lot of information. For example, while Mr. Maud's scent is so faint that it's almost imperceptible, it seems to be a combination of fougere and woody notes, concealing many stories. Of course, it's, of course he got some woody notes. The most... Mm. I about to say, it has something to do with masculine and all that. I'm like, of course it got some fucking woody notes to it. Underneath. Hmm. As for Miss Gwei, I detect the lively notes of fruit and the refreshing scent of citrus. It must mean Miss Gwei has very few worries. <laughs> but I'm not really all that amazing. Cauldron <laughs> Master, you're amazing. <laughs> what about me, huh? What do I smell like? Hmm, Mr. Albert takes things in stride and is very clever. You have the scent of a very smart bird. Oh, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> you him up. I heard that you returned to the Law of Food this time and urgently taken up the position of head of the Alchemy Commission. What's going on? <laughs> to be honest, after the Ambrosial Arbor disaster, Problems in the Lawfu Alchemy Commission that have accumulated over the years have finally come to the surface. Like rats leaving a sinking ship. Head them off of the pass! Many healers are obsessed with medical research, but they very rarely communicate with each other. Ooh, the factions and cliques are complicated and deeply entrenched. Fortunately, I've traveled and studied on many Sienjo ships. So I have a deeper understanding of the Commission's current <laughs> situation. 
I've seen a lot of messy things, but it's rare to see something as messy as this. Wow. The Cauldron Master must deal with a lot of trouble in her daily work, no? <laughs> oh, that's just how work is. These problems can't be addressed or solved in one day, but I do my best. But since I'm already here, I won't go easy. Oh, what was it that Chin Shui said? When the sky falls, there's always someone tall to hold it up. The Cauldron Master is both tall and capable. No matter how much trouble she faces, she'll be able to handle it. Then I hope your words ring true, Miss March. <laughs> oh, and thank you to Mr. Albert for interpreting for me. The scent of this smart bird definitely has... Gourmand notes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that not only is Miss Lingshaw good at identifying people by smell, she is also quite capable in combat. As a yeah, I want to. I want to hear her combat. Let me. Let's get into her combat. But yeah, yo, look at look at her in game. Look at her in game. Uh, as I said, when I I fawned over her so bad when I seen her in the uh when she came up in this. I was, she's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> I just l love pretty women, y'all. Just pretty women. <laughs> Gorgeous women. Healer, I excel at using incense to heal others. But oh, not the P. <laughs> what? Not her um alt. Not her alt. Her um idol. The P U. Also weaken enemies in combat. Incense oh. to heal others. But heal others. Also weaken enemies mm -hmm. in okay. combat. My skill deals damage to all enemies. And restores HP for all allies. Okay, that's cool. Damaging enemies while healing the um, allies. Neat. Through my talent, my skill summons the incense beast, Fu Yuan. Fu Yuan launches a follow up attack during its action. De yes! She, uh, of course, uh, another another follow up attack char um, character. That's Rasta. Link damage to all enemies. And while healing the team. Uh, oh yeah, she gonna be good for the heels, especially when it's follow up. Follow up, definitely yes. Especially in, in those tight moments, like if you're like on edge, and your character's legit about to die. She gonna be coming in clutch. It also dispels one debuff from all allies and restores HP. Oh, and and she can dispel one debuff from all all, all of them, not just one. All of them, all three of them. I wonder herself as well. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, she. <laughs> y'all already know when we get to the uh, the banner, the banner situation. Y'all already know. <laughs> it also dispels one debuff from all allies and restores HP. Oh, this incense beast looks so pink and soft. It's adorable. It is. Her whole animations is so cute. Like, look at that. So cute. Yes. This incense beast looks so pink and soft. It's adorable. <laughs> it's a creature I created from inside the incense burner, and it helps me in battle. But since it's an incense beast, it dissipates like smoke after a few actions. <gasps> Can we make it stay a little longer? Yes, it's not too difficult. When Fu Yuan is on the field, I only need to use my skill to increase its number of actions. When I use my ultimate... I deal damage to all enemies and heal all allies. At the same time, I inflict the befog state on all enemies. Befog. Enemies in this state also take more break damage. And they take more break damage. Okay, that means she'll be good with break damage. I'm trying to see who my heavy hitters who can obviously get at break damage. Obviously Firefly, because they got her in that. Yeah. And I want she would be good with um, Boot Hill as well. She probably will be. When I use my technique before entering battle, I immediately summon Fu Yuan at the start of the next battle and inflict Befog on all enemies. A very reliable cauldron master. She's amazing. Her whole kit sounds uh just yes. <laughs> just yes, just nothing else not, uh, no other words for me from then yes, just yes. All around the board. With your help on the team, your allies will be well protected. A uh, cauldron master Lingsha. Uh, can I borrow the incense beast? <laughs> <gasps> oh, 
Oh, even the sound is gone this time. I'm done for. This is the biggest fumble in the history of this program. I'm so done for. Huh? What now? Mr. Moza, could you help us out and introduce yourself? My name is Moza. I'm General Fei Shao's shadow guard. Moza. Oh, yeah, he's coming too. I forgot. <laughs> I was too busy on Miss Ma'am. I'm just like. I forgot. I'm like, oh, yeah, he. Oh, yeah, we're getting a four star as well. <laughs> Him. So, yeah, a hot meal. <laughs> Falling asleep. Okay. Cool. okay. My work doesn't really lend itself to being in the limelight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really think that through. It He's an edgy boy. <laughs> yes. Dang, I'm about to say something that just slipped my brain. Yes, yeah, I was about to like say some sly about him, but I was like, it just uh, <laughs> the words together. <laughs> so, but yeah, he's um lightning and the hunt path. It can't be helped, Mr. Albert. The general said this is Mords' first time doing a media interview. I apologize for his bluntness. Yo, no worries. I just didn't expect such a skilled general to need a shadow guard to protect her. <laughs> Mr. Albert hasn't fully grasped the situation. A shadow guard working at the general's side isn't the same as a bodyguard. Uh, Mr. Mwodza is mainly in charge of gathering intelligence. He helps the general deal with matters that she can't personally deal with. Could it be you? I've heard legends about a crow-feathered weirdo on the Yao Jing. This man fights crime, often hiding in the shadow. Okay, I'm about to say, why well, the music got louder than them? I was like, it, it, the music went down. I was like, the music was like a little loud. <laughs> I was like, oh. Taking the heads of his targets, he strikes with extreme brutality and has scared off many people who intend to do evil. Zhao Cho made that all up. It sounds like there'd be feathers all over the place. That's not me. I clean up after myself. Oh, you really are perfectionist, Mr. Moza. <laughs> That's right. The general said when they were all eating hot pot at Zhao Cho's place, Zhao Cho went to answer the phone halfway through. When he came back, Moza had already cleaned up the pot and all the bowls. I did what I needed to. Let him sweep her. Mr. Moza, what are you doing? The floor is dirty. That feeling of finally eliminating years of stubborn filth. It's indeed refreshing. As expected of someone with so much initiative. Now, let's take a look at how Mr. Moza performs in battle. <sighs> All right. Mr. Moza is a lightning type character following the path of the hunt. Correct. His skill marks a single enemy as the prey and deals lightning damage to it. Yes. Mr. Moza, don't you have anything to add? Are you asking me to? Uh, um, no. All right, then. My talent will allow me to enter the departed state while a prey exists on the field. Fine, I'll continue then. In the departed state, after allies attack the prey, Moza deals additional damage to the prey. Mr. Moza's ultimate deals damage to a single target and launches a follow-up attack. After I use my technique, I will enter stealth mode. Attacking an enemy in stealth mode increases the damage dealt in combat. Ten steps in and one is slain. A thousand miles won't stay his pace. The deed is done, his robes are clean. He buries them all and leaves no trace. There's another advantage of hiding. When you're on a mission, you can avoid getting the area or yourself dirty. Uh, he's really a clean. Um, he is. He, he will definitely have the trait neat in the Sims, or um, <laughs> very much. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, now that we've introduced our guests, <laughs> let's take a quick break for our sponsors. The program will continue after. 
He's a moody boy, but he loves, he loves his cleanliness. <laughs> All right, dear audience, we now have some special news for you. In version 2.5's Oh, we get the banners. Okay, so she is in first. <gasps> that means Miss Ma'am is in second phase. Yes. That means I can save up all my stellar jade, y'all. Yes. <laughs> because, uh, Miss Ma'am, will I, will I, do I want to get her? <laughs> uh, I want to save all I can to get Miss Ma'am, though, and try to get her light cone. So I'm, I'm, I probably will be skipping. I will be. Because I really want to save for my girl. Because I really, I'm obsessed with her. She's just in the second phase. Uh, but I do want to get Moza, um, though. I really want to get that. Ooh. Ooh. I do. Yeah, I might. I might have to wait. <laughs> Whenever he, uh, he gets added to the random, the um standard roster of four-star characters you can get randomly. Probably that's how I'm going to get him. Because I'm like, uh. Cause I don't want to pull on her banner because I want to save all my things for uh, Miss Ma'am. First half warp event, troll mages can acquire the limited five star character face Shao. The Fischau. limited five star light cone, I venture forth to hunt, will also have a boosted drop rate. In addition, a special warp event will be launched in the first half of 2.5. The limited five star. <gasps> Robin! Oh, I am surprised Robin's getting a rerun. I feel like she's like, j not just released. Oh, it's been a minute. Oh. Oh, I'm legit surprised they're rerunning Robin. Already. I feel like she was not too long ago she came out. <laughs> Star characters, Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka will return at the same time. Wait, what? Wait, huh? Wait, roll that back again. We'll also have a boosted drop rate. In addition, a special warp event will be launched in the first half of 2.5. Special warp event. The limited five star characters, Robin. Characters? Pl Wait, they're rerunning three characters at once? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, I'm like, huh? Black Swan and Kafka. Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka? Where are we gonna get the solar jade for the for three characters? <laughs> we can barely get them for two of them. I, I'm confused. How is this gonna go? They have three rerun characters. This is new. Oh, shit. Kafka will return at the same time. At the same time. The limited five star light cones. Glowing night glow, patience is all you need, and Reforged Remembrance will also return. Um, wow. Um, this wall is gonna <laughs> go in my after this. Oh, chow. Oh, damn. I, uh, damn. Luckily, I got Robin. I got Black Swan. Kafka, damn. I want to get Kafka, though. Shit. Damn it. I do want to get Kafka because I have all the um Celeron Hunters. I have Firefly. I got Blade. I got Silver Wolf. I just don't have Kafka, and she would be good. Uh, and she'd be good with um Acheron. Having a whole like full Nihility team with Acheron, Black Swan, and Kafka. Oh shit! Dang y'all! I wait. Uh, second half, the first half. Ooh, ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Whoa! Ooh. Oh. I gotta see. Damn it! Damn it! Cause I do want to get Kafka, and I don't know whenever she's gonna get another rerun. Cause since they're doing three reruns at once on one phase, which I'm like, huh? Ooh, me have the itch my my um side of my I'm like oh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I need to remind everyone that in this special warp event, the warp count for the guaranteed five star will be shared among the rerun banners and current limited banner. Switching banners during the warp will not reset the count for the guarantee. Okay, that's good. So if you're guaranteed a character and you switch, which um 
limited character you want on the special kind of banner they're doing you'll be so guaranteed if you decide to switch if you don't want robin you switch to if you want, last minute you want to switch to black swan or kafka you can you'll be still guaranteed your guarantee will still transfer over to the other character banner which is good that's good but damn <laughs> And each limited character can only be acquired from their own respective banner. The special warp events will open periodically, giving viewers more opportunities to invite their favorite characters to join the team. Periodically. And if you don't want to invite them, you can still get more stellar jades and trial stages. <clears throat> to this is this whole thing is still. Banner. I'm like gotta go Twin back. Banners I'm like, during the warp will not reset the confusion. <laughs> boosted drop. This is gonna understand it. Like, in addition, a special warp event will be launched in the event. first half of 2.5. The limited five star characters, Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka, will return at the same time. Same time. The limited five star light cones. Blowing Night Glow, Patience is All You Need, and Reforged Remembrance will also return. Mm -hmm. I need to remind everyone that in this special warp event, the warp count for the guaranteed five star will be shared among the rerun banners and current limited banner. Switching banners during the warp will not reset the count for the guarantee, and each limited character can only be acquired from their own respective banner. The special warp events will open periodically, giving viewers more opportunities to open periodically to invite their favorite characters to join the team. And if you don't want to invite them, you can still get more stellar jades and trial stages. <clears throat> okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Uh love for that in version 2.5 second and my girl that i want yay in phase two phase one really just did me i'm like what because that wasn't that's that's new they're doing because wow three reruns on one phase i'm just like chill <laughs> Second half warp event. Trobas can acquire the limited five star character Ling Sha. Ling Sha. You already know. I'm getting my girl. I'm getting her, and I want to get her light cone because she deserves her light cone. Like, look how cute the little um bunny there with her. So so fluffy. The limited five star light cone, sent alone, stays true. Will also have a boosted drop rate. At the same time, the four. Oh, there's no phase two. No, I mean there's um second banner that could be going on. Well, like, since they got three rerun characters in the first phase, they ain't doing another. They ain't doing another character in the second. Phase. Four star light cone, shadowed by night, will be available in the second half warp event two. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Let me shut up. Let me continue. We got on um, Topaz and Numbi. Damn. I said whenever Topaz get a rerun, I want to get her. What is? What are they doing? I can't get toe pads now. Damn it, because I got to get... No, Miss, what they doing? I can't. Because she also had had a rerun not too long ago. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Not to mention the drop rates for the limited five-star character, Topaz and Numbi, and the limited five-star light cone, Worrisome Blissful, will also be boosted. <laughs> all right, that's all for our commercial. I mean, our special news. Dear viewers, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, that's going. Let me turn this down a little bit. Y'all, phase one is crazy with the reruns. I'm like, they're doing three? This is the first time they doing something like this. I'm like, I was out of blue. Wow. So me, gotta think long, and hard. Do I really? It, do I want Kafka? Child, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna catch her next time because I really want to put all everything into getting Miss Ma'am because she is so amazing and her light code. And then they all have Topaz in Phase Two with her. I'm like. Oh. Nobody told him to do that. Do this at all. And where we gonna be? And where we gonna be getting these primo? Um, not primos. Welcome back, dear viewers. Where are we gonna be getting these um, stellar jades from to get these people? Since there's since there's so many reruns going on, I'm like, how where we gonna get these stellar jades from? 
Up next, we will be introducing the latest news about the war dance ceremony. <laughs> but, uh, but our communications with the onsite reporter haven't been restored. <laughs> Leave it to me, Mr. Albert. Where is the connection port in the studio? It, uh huh? What happened? I brought back the footage. Uh, hi, Albert. That was so scary. Someone with a hoodie suddenly gave me a hard drive and said something about connecting to the studio. What's going on? I used a hard drive to bring back March 7th's footage, and I'll use it to send over the studio's footage. It's very simple. <laughs> Looks like we can continue the program. Oh. So this is how you solve the problem. Will it not be too difficult for Mr. Modza to run back and forth like that? Why? It's just running. Uh, my apologies. Then thank you for your hard work, Mr. Moza. <laughs> hey, March 7th, can you hear me? Yes, Albert. The uh, highly anticipated war dance is about to begin. <laughs> And it'll take place on the Sky Splitter right behind me. We're in the port side audience seats on the upper floor of the Sky Splitter. The venue for the competition is just below us. Soon, the most anticipated event, the Lawfu Ringmasters match, will be held here. <laughs> to prepare for the war dance, the Sienjo Lawfu transformed this old military battleship into the venue for the competition. So on the Sky Splitter, you can see many traces of military weapons. Like this huge cannon! This was the main cannon the Sky Splitter was equipped with. It's now used for ceremonial gun salutes. Whenever a ceremony convenes, the Sky Splitter will fire a salute! Apart from the competition venue on the deck, the different cabins on the Sky Splitter have also been transformed into different areas to serve the contestants, tourists, and the media. Ooh, popcorn. Farther down, there are more areas, like the contestant training area and the Starskip entry and exit hold. Currently, the war dance is still open for registration. If you're interested in participating, you can sign up in the reception hall. We look forward to everyone coming to the Sky Splitter, March 7th, bringing you this latest report. Thank you, March 7th. The Luminary War Dance, the highlight of this trip to the CNGO, will finally convene in version 2.5. Totally. Lots of people signed up. Shangshan's participating too. The general also says, Making friends through martial arts is one of my favorite things to do. If I were allowed to, I'd go and fight a few rounds too. If the general participated, there'd be nothing to compete for. To keep the competition interesting, the best masters aren't allowed to participate. I'm guessing that the crew of the Astral Express chose not to participate for the same reason. Of course! After thinking it through, we decided to keep our reputation a secret and let the Trailblazer play the role of the gray-haired coach who doesn't understand martial arts. At the same time, a red-haired, iron-armed young man from Belaba has also come to the Sienjo Lawfu. Is that the planet that was once hidden in a snowstorm? I have heard very little about it. Yeah. It seems that routes from Belaba to other worlds have now opened up. That's right. This young man's name is Luca. Yeah, Luca. Now that All these right. routes have been restored, he's come to the war dance with the mission of showing off Bellabog's style to the entire cosmos for the first time. He represents the hopes of the entire planet. <laughs> the young man is leaving the nest for the first time and will be in an unfamiliar place. If he has no one to guide him, he will likely run into many obstacles. Don't worry, Miss Lingsha. Don't forget that the Trailblazer is also coming to the Sky Splitter. Yeah. Our dear Trailblazer is known for being a kind-hearted person. They'll definitely not sit by and watch an old friend flounder around like a fish out of water. During the war dance, the Trailblazer will become Luca's gold medal coach and fight with him through all the challenges. According to the intel I've collected, the Luminary War Dance event consists of multiple competitions. In each competition, 
Contestants must first participate in a point-based tournament to earn points, and only after accumulating a certain number of points will they qualify for the face-off match of that competition. That's right. Our contestant Luca needs to defeat key opponents in each face-off match one by one before he can face the ringmaster Yin Xing in the final showdown. In order to show that the IPC takes this event seriously, the International Peace Corporation will also participate in the war dance under the guidance of Coach Topaz. They may even face off against Luca in the competition. In addition, mm. Galaxy Ra Oh, my cowboy husband here. Boo Hill. Ranger Boot Hill and the Knight of Beauty will appear in the arena in various roles. In every match, the Trailblazer will need to help Luca display his martial prowess to the fullest extent and earn the support of the audience. The two sides of the match will individually earn vibes based on how much the audience vibes. supports either side. So, the audience outside the ring can provide assistance? <laughs> it's just increasing audience participation and providing a more immersive experience. Completing designated actions during the match and achieving highlights will greatly increase your vibes and conversely cause your opponent's vibes to decrease. When either participant's vibes reach the maximum, the match will enter the enhanced inspiration state. The participant who earns the audience's support will gain stronger buffs and easily win the match. Yes. All right then, March 7th. Is there anything you want to add? <sighs> Watching the preparations for the war dance with all of you has my hands itching for more. It just so happens I've learned a few moves from my masters. So why don't I take the opportunity to show them to everyone? <sighs> ha! Watch this! Well, how's that? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, good, Mark. You better believe I'll reach the top of the war dance with my skills. When that happens, you'll all have to call me Sword Champion March 7th. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I don't know if you become Sword Champion, but I do know Sword Champions still hit themselves in the head with their own swords. Well, I am still learning. But I think that everyone who's coming to participate in the war dance this time will have profound martial arts skills. And we'll all be first-class masters. That's right. We are all looking forward to enjoying a spectacular war dance ceremony. I found the problem. This guy chewed through the wires. That's why there was a problem with March 7th's connection. Ooh, isn't this a tusk for... I have one too. It is a creature that subsists on mem... Oh, not, um... Not him having it, um, having it in his lap. Just petting it a little bit. That's so cute. <laughs> Moria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality and relieve anxiety and depression. Such a lively tusk bird. Does it take after its owner? This is a little sudden, but its <gasps> oh! owner is the Trailblazer. <gasps> we have another little buddy. Oh, let me play the old track. We have another little buddy. Oh, look cute. That's right. Trailblazers can obtain the pet Tusper by completing activities related to the Luminary War Dance. Aww. And summon it to their side. <laughs> Hopefully it can cheer <gasps> you out. The little tail. Thanks to Mr. Moza for discovering it. <laughs> oh, why is my show so unlucky? The team is currently fixing the line. Let's proceed. Great. Let's check out the other exciting events this version has to offer. Riding the wave of the war dance ceremony, the Law Fu's Realm Keeping Commission has organized a temple fair offering different fair activities at locations like the Artistship Commission, the Shackling Prison, the Sky Splitter, and the Divination Commission. <laughs> For instance, the fun inventory arrangement gameplay that Trailblazers loved is making a comeback. Trailblazers will need to stack cargo on star skiffs to reach the shipping targets. Every temple fair activity has been. Oh, I remember that. I remember that from yeah. I remember that. Yeah, we love playing tech. We love playing Tetris. Both normal mm -hmm. and ascension difficulties. After finishing all the normal levels, you can unlock the ascension difficulty. Complete different activities to collect rewards. Using the shackling prison as a stage for the festival is rather strange. 
It's also to spice up the judges' free time with some fun cultural activities and bring everyone closer together. <clears throat> and, and, and that's not all. There's also a fresh update to the Divergent Universe. This time, the Divergent Universe brings us new curios, weighted curios, and occurrences, along with some tweaks having been made to existing equations, weighted curios, and blessings. The goal is to provide trailblazers with a wider range of battle experiences and gameplay modes. The adventure domain in the Divergent Universe now features Cowboy Showdown and Surging Firepower Challenges. Each challenge has different objectives, wherein trailblazers need to achieve the highest scores possible to earn adventure rewards. During the challenges, reward targets such as Cosmic Fragment targets and Curio targets will randomly appear. Smashing these targets will grant corresponding rewards, adding bonuses to the trial. What? This thing is interesting. Yeah. It seems to improve eyesight and agility. Mr. Morza, would you like to give it a try? If not, I'm up next. Direct face-offs don't suit me. If I must pick one, it'll be surging firepower. Yeah! <laughs> Since you're here, why not join the fun? We've added Adventure Arcade near the Divergent Universe's activation device on the Radiant Belts Bar. In the arcade, you can try out a variety of new and old adventure modes. Oh, that's good. So you don't want to go into the whole thing. You can just play it on on a little arcade machine that's cute okay good y'all the, the i just be going <laughs> i don't have too much to say about the um the new like little i forgot what's called already the, the, the divergent thing yeah i just be clicking through it <laughs> i'll i just be clicking <laughs> to get to the end so i can get the rewards and everything or to get the 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 uh stuff for the characters like the rope the rope and um not the rope it's the i'm um, rope and the spear for characters i just be clicking through <laughs> i just be making i just be like it'd be a lot <laughs> that'd be like hopefully this do good this this and that and not the third and then i'm just like we go for it <laughs> miss ling sha if you've got some extra time on your hands you should give it a try too I'll definitely check it out after work. Aside from that, Dr. Ratio has added more path equations to the Divergent Universe, allowing trailblazers to explore even more trails. The synchronicity level has also been increased to uh -oh. level 80, and the research of geniuses and Monday nights continues. <laughs> That's not all. The Divergent Universe has oh? also added two new planar ornaments. Oh, we got some new ornaments. I wonder what these are about. Lushaka, the Sunken Seas, and the wondrous Banana Amusement Park. In the next update, players can look forward to the release of Stagnant Shadow Shape of Mech Wolf and Stagnant Shadow Shape of Gloam. By completing the challenge, you can obtain the Lightning Type Character Ascension Material, Nail of the Beast Coffin, and the Wind Type Character Ascension Material, A Glass of the Besotted Era. These materials will be used by Masters Moza and Faisal, respectively. The Planar Fisher and Rome with the Strange Events are also making a comeback. <laughs> Viewers, be sure to grab those double rewards. Yeah, we love these. Keep them coming every patch. Keep them coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me more. Woo. Ugh, all that info in one breath. Yeah, it's not like a lot. Take it easy on yourself, Albert. Woo. <laughs> That's work for you. <laughs> Let's take a short break. There are even more great things ahead. In the last code, I wonder, are we? I wonder, are we getting the um the gift of Oasis? We ain't seen nothing about that. I'm scared. We still got a little bit more left to see. But are we getting the gift of Oasis and all that? We're not gonna get no free special tickets because we love those every patch. Hopefully they didn't, they didn't stop. Welcome. 
Welcome back, everyone. Now that we've come to the end of the show. I thought there was more to come. Yes. It's already the end of the show. Here comes the exciting part. What the audience loves most. The never-ending, never-absent gift of Odyssey. Odyssey. I, I don't know why I say gift of Oasis. <laughs> Odyssey, I meant uh, Odyssey, not Oasis. Oasis. But yes, I was worried. I was like, I was like, are we getting this? We love this very much. And uh, um, he was right. We do. We love this every patch. Thank you. Thank you. Keep them. Keep it coming. Keep this coming. What? Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> Before the guests always shut of that with me. You're right. That's actually pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Right. Also in version 2.5, we've added new system optimizations for our audience. Oh, tell us about it. Well, okay. Version 2.5 introduces a new <laughs> pre-battle difficulty selection feature and the option to reselect the difficulty after a failed battle. Trailblazers can choose between casual mode and normal mode. Oh, okay. This is really good. This is really good. Because um, the bosses right there, especially Miss... Um, Oh, Tilly, I forgot her name. Damn. Her name was just in my head. Miss Manly State. Especially, oh, wait, the, the Swarm boss. That one can be a hassle to, to be if you don't have, like, certain characters, especially. Yeah, good thing they added this. So it turns them down a little bit because they can be OP if you don't have, like, certain characters to deal with them. And which is really hard to get the materials for um, level up characters' traces. So yeah, yeah, thank goodness they added this. When facing formidable enemies. If you want a more laid back adventure, Trailblazers can opt for the casual mode. Is it using some type of sacred instrument to weaken enemies? It's dimensional tech. You could also call it metaverse tech. Oh, finally connected. The show hasn't finished yet, right? Not yet. We're Almost. just about to say goodbye to everyone. Aww. Oh, it's been a really long day. Well, at least I managed to catch the end. <laughs> I'd like to express my gratitude to Interastral Peace Media, the war dance ceremony organizers, my two masters, and most importantly, the Trailblazers for their encouragement. <laughs> uh, I, uh... <laughs> my seventh! Kitty, how would they accept this page? I saw that other shows always end with a lot of thank yous. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everyone on the Sky Splitter and wish all of the contestants the best of luck. <laughs> March nailed it. Yes. I could never say it that nicely. <clears throat> and at the end of the show, General Fei Xiao asked me to deliver these words to everyone. From providing testimonies to being entangled in the shackling prison incident, the Trailblazers are valued guests of the Alliance who have come to our aid numerous times, only to face dangers repeatedly. There is undoubtedly a shortcoming in our hospitality, and we take full responsibility. We will swiftly address this crisis and provide a vibrant war dance for everyone to enjoy. At the same time, I would like to take this opportunity to present a small gift to the Trailblazer on behalf of the Sienjo Alliance, wishing them a smooth journey ahead. Should the Astral Express face any difficulties in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. The Yao Ching is always ready to help. Aww. They giving us some, um, they give, I mean, she's giving us some, um, Cellar Jade and Fuel and the other stuff, which is for, I forgot. I, you, I think you use this stuff for the traces like for like certain items you don't have and you can still level them up like oh yeah okay this is good it's cute couldn't give us a whole full 10 um 10 um roll though <laughs> but we'll take it thank you uh, great thank you general <laughs> fei xiao thank you sienjo alliance let's all look forward to the opening of the war dance together catch you all in the next episode bye wait march there's something behind you. Huh? What? Hey, isn't that... If Albert's on the Sky Splitter, then who's this sitting here? Hello. Someone here wants double pay. 
That's a dumb thing. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> I have a strong desire to improve myself. See? <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> and that's right. And that wraps it up. <laughs> and for the unspecial program. <laughs> Oh, and hey, um, furry, welcome on in. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's it for the um special program. A lot of um things are coming. Spe the um the phase one pulling set um this not pulling such the phase one pulls. Um. Shooked me so bad. Cause I'm like, they're having three rerun characters. They're having um Robin, Black Swan, and Kafka. That threw me. Because they've never done that before. That's new they're doing. With three rerun characters on one phase and one phase. I'm like, huh? Shook me. I'm like, Ooh. I obviously I have Robin already and Black Swan. I don't have Kafka and I do want to get Kafka because I want to complete the whole having um all the Celeron hunters. Damn, but I do want my girl though in the second phase. So I'm just like I, I want to get her. So I'm like I might have to wait and skip Kafka until she have another rerun, rerun, rerun. <laughs> I'm about to see. But obviously I'm getting my girl in phase two, Miss Ma'am. She's too pretty. Ah, love her. And I want to get her like on. That's how much I'm like obsessed with her. And then of course Topaz is running in, running with her in phase two. I'm just like, I wanted, I wanted to get Topaz on her next rerun. Probably already running with her. Damn it. <laughs> so I gotta get some characters next time. But yeah, but I'm gonna see how it goes. But very um pack and also through this other like event stuff that's gonna be going on. And I'm excited for the um story as well, the part two, the continuation from the, um 2.4. So we can see what's gonna be going down, what the showdown gonna be, and all. So yeah. Oh yeah, and also to the general, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about her. I'm like, she looks cool, obviously, and everything. Oh, I like her, everything. But I'm like, I'm not like head over heels like I am for Miss Ma'am in the second phase. So hopefully for the people who um for get her, y'all get her, cause she does, she looks sick. But I'm going for Miss Ma'am in second phase, my my healer, my healer queen. So yeah. <laughs> What else? What else? Uh, what else happened? Oh yeah, also too the gift of always the gift of um Odyssey. No, I don't know why he's saying Oasis. The gift of Odyssey. I was worried. I was like, are we gonna get that? But they waited till the end to say something about it. I was like, y'all, y'all scare me. I'm like, we're gonna stop that. I'm like, I need my my six. Um, not my six. I need my um my special passes every like patch y'all been doing that ever since day one or day two no day one they did that so they like, continue it and they did thank you i was worried i was like we ain't gonna get her and then also to the little special thing with um the general she giving us some extra po um stellar um sh uh, not shards what are they called <laughs> what are they some jades. She gave us some more jades. Damn it. I was like, I'm slipping. <laughs> some more jades. I'm like, hey. But, ah. Uh, <laughs> as y'all can see, some um, videos up here, people reacting to it as well. They're like, what the f like, what the fuck and all that. Well, two, um, three reruns and all that. And for like, I'm, I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> I'm be processing it <laughs> after the video as well. <laughs> But yeah, but it's all, and also the all uh, the little events as well that can be happening, and we get new um, a, a new, new two new ornaments which are interesting. Probably got to see on Twitter what they're gonna be doing for the characters. So, but we gonna we gonna see about it. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all, that's it for my um, reaction and all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Again, if y'all wanna um see these reactions live, you already know. Obviously, you can watch them on the two where y'all watching this on, and also on the um, Twitchy. It's um everything gonna be in the description for you, when socials and everything as well in the description as well. So until the next um video I make, 
whether it's a reaction or pulling session, whatever. And that um, next video is. Until then, bye y'all. <laughs>